And hold. Ow. And hold. Ow. And hold. Ow. The patient is sitting or in supine. The forearm is supinated and the wrist is in a neutral position. The fingers are extended and the MCP and IP joints of the thumb are extended. The thumb is in a palmar abduction because the opponent's pollicis cannot oppose effectively until the thumb is at abducted. The therapist stabilizes the distal forearm. The thumb may be supported in abduction if the abductor pollicis brevis is weak. The patient flexes and medially rotates the thumb metacarpal towards the little finger, and the little finger flexes and rotates towards the thumb so that the pads of the finger and thumb touch. The distal phalanges remain in extension throughout the movement. Palpation for opponent's pollicis is lateral to the abductor pollicis brevis on the radial aspect of the shaft of the thumb metacarpal. Opponent's digitai minimi is on the volar surface of the shaft of the fifth metacarpal. Mm -hmm. Resistance for both movements are resisted simultaneously and the resistance is applied on the volar surfaces of the thumb metacarpal and the fifth metacarpal.